Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. I'm glad you're with me this morning. We're going to just look at two verses, Luke chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Now it happened on another Sabbath also that he entered the synagogue and taught. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. So the scribes and Pharisees watched him closely, whether he would heal on the Sabbath, that they might find an accusation against him. Now I hate to leave it there, but we're going to get carry on tomorrow morning with the next thing that happens but let's just pause for a minute here because right here there's a lesson. Why are you going to church? Why do you enter into the worship of the living God? Why do you do it? Are you doing it? Are you Look at what's going on here. The first, Verse 7, the scribes and Pharisees are watching Jesus so that they can find an accusation against him. And some people are going to church. Some people are coming to worship looking for faults in other people to, to lay hold of, to blame other people to put them down and compare, then they can compare themselves to that person and say, well, I'm a holy person, that's a, that's a bad person, they're playing the drums, they're doing this bad thing or that bad thing, but I'm a holy person because, because I'm not doing that bad thing. So friends, you know, yes, there are things that happen sometimes in worship that are wrong, but we need to make sure we're not going to church to find people to accuse. We don't want to accuse our brothers and sisters of wearing uh, clothing that's too too rich or too grubby, or that they're there for whatever thing we might think. So here again, we have Jesus goes in, he's teaching, and there's somebody there that needs healing, and they, they're just hoping, they're just hoping that he's going to actually heal that guy on the Sabbath. That would, be, that would be blasphemy and tragedy. And so then they could go and accuse him. Well, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Let's see what happens about that tomorrow morning. But for the moment, let you and I pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Help us when we come to worship to keep our eyes fixed on you, Lord, the Lord from heaven. May we not look at our brothers and sisters to accuse or find fault or look for something that we can use in some crazy uh, sideways agenda that we have against somebody. Lord, when we come to church, we're coming to worship you, you. And so, Lord, may we be have our focus on you and not be distracted and certainly not distracted by crazy side agendas and things that ought to have nothing to do with present truth or the gospel of Jesus. Now, Lord, bless us, we pray, every day as we come to worship you, every week as we come into your presence. Bless us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the Lord's blessings be with you, and may you and I come to church or come to the worship with the right motivations, and we'll have the right blessings. God bless you today.